Yay! <laughs> hey, goddess. Okay, so this conversation is a long time in the making. First of all, you are live. Well, it's live wherever you are. <laughs> With your girl, Aviola Abrams from ManifestYourMagic.com. And we are talking today about... Woohoo! Hey, my love, you are live. Well, live whenever you're watching it. <laughs> With your girl, Aviola from ManifestYourMagic.com. And today we are talking about a topic that has been in high demand. You guys have been asking me for this video, so finally, here it is. Our topic is how to protect yourself from negative energy and negative people. Yes! Can I get a yes? Yes! <laughs> I have six ways for you to protect yourself from negative energy, negative people, negative situations because they are all out there. And if you are a light worker or a change maker, which by you watching this video, I know you are, then those people will tend to try to gravitate towards you. But because we are all energy and like attracts like, you don't feel in concert with those people. You don't feel aligned with those people. And so it just feels like stress, anger. They suck the life and energy out of you. Anyone ever heard of energetic or spiritual vampires? Yes. <laughs> so what you want to do is make sure that you are grounded and protected. So here are six ways to have your own back when it comes to dealing with negative people and negative energy. Number one, make sure that your spiritual armor is tight. Make sure you can do a Wonder Woman and you're able to block these fools. <laughs> block these fools like crazy and you stay away from their crazy making. Now, by negative people and ne negative situations, I can mean anything from, I mean anything from the stuff that we see on the news because that can be very draining to us. Those of us who are empathic take all of that stuff in. And I know that for a long time that I didn't have any barriers between my energy and being able to take in other and dealing with other people's energy. Yes. Hello, my love. You are on with Abiola from ManifestYourMagic.com. And today we are talking about how to protect yourself from negative people and negative situations. If you are a light worker or a change maker, which I know you are because you are watching this video, then chances are that you are also an empath. If you are an empathetic person, oftentimes we don't know how to protect or guard ourselves or have healthy boundaries and barriers between our energy and other people's energy. Anyone ever dealt with energetic vampires or spiritual vampires? Yeah, the reason is, is that those people tend to come looking for you because they want to suck your energy. They want to be in the light, but they are not bringing light themselves. And so it's not an equal energy exchange and it ends up leaving you drained. So just like a blood sucking vampire, except for these are energy or spirit sucking vampires. Also, those of us who are light bringers, you know, to the world, we can often feel drained just by watching the news. Now, I urge you, you don't need to necessarily watch the news every night because having interned at CNBC back in the days, I can tell you that the motto for any news station and channel and newspaper is if it leads, it bleeds, meaning the more devastating that it could be to your psyche to watch and experience it, that's the more what they're going to put out there. It's not about what you need to know. It's about ratings and um, it's a ratings game. And they know the more they show you mass mayhem, the more that you are going to want to take it in and keep watching. It's like a drug, but for them, it's like money. <laughs> so you don't have to participate in that system. Opt out. Anyway, I'm going to be sharing with you six ways in addition to opting out of negative viewing, things that you can do in your everyday life to protect yourself, protect your energy, and protect your magic from 
spiritual and energetic vampires from negative people and situations. All right? So number one, have your spiritual armor be tight. I'm saying be like a Wonder Woman. Be able to block this stuff. <laughs> block these fools. Don't just be porous, you know, that, you know, if you're a giving, loving person, you want to give, give, give till it hurts. That's the saying, right? No. No, 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 no. We are not doing that. Giving until it hurts is not healthy. You want to be in relationship with people where it's a healthy energy exchange. And so the way that you protect yourself is with healthy boundaries, healthy emotional boundaries. You can, if you have friends or family members that you have to be around or, um, well, actually, let me rephrase that. Family members, you have to be around. Friends, not so much. So I urge you to be more discerning about who you spend your time with. If there are, if you're telling me, oh, my whole timeline is negative, why are you on social media following and interacting with negative people? Get rid of it. You don't need to follow that. If it's your friends who are negative, I'm not telling you cut off all your friends, but it may take a conversation. A few years ago, you know, one of my very close friends was going through something. And so her energy had shifted to the point of where for a good solid two, three years, the first time you, first thing, when you saw her, you knew she was going to complain about something. The first words out of her mouth were going to be some kind of complaint, bitching, moaning. And I couldn't take it. Like I used to dread hanging out with her for this reason until finally I had a small conversation with her. And I was just like, you know, just so that you know, this is what your energy is. So you can have a conversation with somebody and maybe there will be an improvement made. And if not, then maybe you can move on. All right. So number two, what are you feeding yourself? Be aware of the things that you are putting into your body. This will shore up your, um, your own energetic armor. So what are you taking in, in terms of, like I mentioned, the news, um, TV shows that you're watching? Are you watching all things that are death and misery and mayhem and sad and complaining and bitching and moaning? Or are you taking in a blend and a mix of positive things? Are you reading positive books? Are you watching positive YouTube videos like this? one are you listening to like I have two meditation albums are you you know um I know that Ian Levanson and Wayne Dyer and Gabby Bernstein and Louise Hay you know Bob Proctor these are all names of people that you can search Lisa Nichols search for their books their affirmation cards their albums their whatever they have and feed yourself with positive energy and get yourself you know Get your energy up and protected. Raise your vibration so that when your vibration, you're vibrating so high, those negative people in negative situations, they won't, they won't even be able to see you. You won't attract them into your life. Again, like energy seeks like energy. And so you want to raise your vibration up so high that, you know, those people and situations and things like that, that you are, again, blocking them, right? Okay, so... Oh, another good thing is that um, make sure that you have daily practices, right? Daily spiritual practices that shore you up. So I would, of course, recommend that you use something like, you know, my affirmation cards, my African goddess affirmation cards, or my womanifesting affirmation cards. Every day, pull a card. See what it says. Let that be your mantra for the day. Or write out your own mantra and say it to yourself in your bathroom mirror. So, okay. So I pulled a card. Um, it's goddess Asaseya, the Ghanaian goddess. And of course, the very relevant affirmation is, I speak my life into existence. My voice has power. See, so pulling a goddess card every day. Um, I have decks. Doreen Virtue has angel cards. Pulling an inspirational card or just opening it to your favorite uh, good book. Um, whatever it is that you worship or read, the Bible, the Quran, you know, um, the Torah, read your, read your spiritual literature, the Sacred Bombshell Handbook of Self-Love, for example. Read something encouraging. Put this stuff, again, what are you feeding yourself? Feed yourself in your mind, your body, and your spirit with um, motivation, inspiration, and transformation. Number three, be present for your joy and gratitude. So when you're spending time with those beautiful children or animals or friends or family members that make your heart sing, try practice mindfulness. Really soak up the moment. Instead of being on your phone or being absent in the TV or whatever it is, be present. 
be with them in the moment and you know let yourself be refreshed let your spiritual reserves be um be buoyed increased Again, the higher you can get your vibration going, the more that you block off yourself from these negative people and situations. Events! Attend positive events. I have to tell you, the past few weeks, I've been speaking a lot at a lot of different positive events. And, um, you know, while I was there as the hired speaker to encourage others, I came away more encouraged, more inspired, more transformed than anyone from just being in the presence of my tribe of positive, beautiful, and enlightened people. And so you want to be around, you know, look up on meetup.com and join up with other positive people and situations. Um, if you're in New York, join my meetup. If, well, depending on where you are, I'm going to be traveling a lot in the coming months. I'm going to be in the UK in the wintertime, and I have a retreat coming up in Bali in June. And so you want to go to these kinds of things, you know, come with me to Bali in June. You want to be around people that are going to have you feeling great about yourself, great about life, great about your career, great about your abundance, have you seeing the possibilities of what you can create with your life. Stop asking people who don't like themselves to like you. Stop asking people who are unhappy about their own lives to be happy about yours. Stop asking people who don't believe in themselves to believe in you. That was the lesson for me of 2016. Can I get an amen? Can I get an ashe? All right. <laughs> Number six, promote what you love versus bashing what you hate. Number five, Promote what you love versus bashing what you hate. Now, this is one that is challenging for me as well, that, you know, with things that are going on in politics and in the news, you want to complain. You want to say, oh, my God, look at this. Look at these idiots. Look what they said. <laughs> at least I want to. I don't know about you. Um, but it's a much stronger, healthier thing for you, for your psyche, for your mind, for your body, for your spirit, so that you're not um, re-traumatizing yourself all day long by dwelling on the negativity, by adding in the positivity, you know, instead of, you know, seeking to say, to, to retweet or Facebook what the people that you hate are saying, see what the people that you like are saying and put more of that into the world. Number seven, check yourself before you wreck yourself. Make sure that you are not the negativity that you are seeking to avoid. All right, you got that? That are you, be vigilant about yourself. Now, I'm not talking about that to be a positive and optimistic person requires you being um, a Pollyanna and being denying your feelings and not being true to yourself. It's very healthy to feel your feelings. You have a right to feel all of your anger, all of your, um, all of the, the, the full range of emotions that you would feel. However, know that there are really only two, two true emotions, love and fear. Ask yourself, am I coming from a place of love or am I coming from a place of fear? Am I coming from a place of light and hope or am I coming from a place of destruction? All right? Do you want to be right or do you want to be happy? And find your alignment and live in that space. Leave me a comment. How do you deal with the energy vampires in your life? Um, I think the best tactic is, you know, surround yourself with the people that you want to be around. Um, that didn't make sense. Well, it did, but it didn't. Uh, and be the kind of person that you want to share time with. Are you the kind of person that you would want to share time with? Well, if you're a negative person, maybe you do want to be around other negative people. But for the rest of us, you know, let's stay away from those negative folks and, and uh, they don't get to share a spot in our big, bright, shiny, happy lives. So... Hope that that was helpful for you. Leave me a comment. Leave me a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe. And I will see you at manifestyourmagic.com. Oh, I didn't give you a namaste. Namaste. <laughs>